friends, we're back for part two of our day in Boulder City. If you missed part one, you can watch it here. We ventured out just 25 miles outside of downtown Las Vegas to visit the small town vibes of Boulder City, Nevada. As you saw in part one, there's plenty of small businesses to keep the whole family entertained for the day. We pick up right where we left off after we had lunch at Cornish Pasty. Right across the street is the Boulder Dam Hotel. Built in 1933 to house visitors coming to Boulder City to see the dam, this hotel is over 90 years old and is listed on the National Register of Historic Places. With just 21 rooms, this boutique hotel really takes you a step back in time. This historic spot right in the middle of downtown is worth checking out even if you're not staying there. In fact, you don't have to spend any money at all. They have a free Hoover Dam Museum you can visit. Stop in to learn history about the town and the dam on your visit to Boulder City through photographs, artifacts, oral histories, and sounds. And if you come back at night, the hotel also has a cute speakeasy bar that you go down a flight of stairs to get to. You can sip a cocktail and enjoy live musical entertainment in the evenings. We will have to come back to this hotel to do a deep dive because there is just so much history to this place. From the hotel, we checked out the shopping Boulder City has to offer, and there is a lot. From soaps and candles to plants and vintage, you can spend the whole day going into all of the boutiques. But while there are many shops, one thing this town is really known for is its antique stores, and there are many of them. Some even have items on display on the sidewalk. You've heard of bar hopping. In this town, you can antique shop hop and spend hours searching for the perfect unique items for you. After checking out some of the historical sites and some of the local shops and boutiques, we found ourselves here at Fox Smokehouse Barbecue for dinner. Let's go. This family owned and operated restaurant will make you feel right at home. I got a tour of The Bar, where they made us this insane barbecue Bloody Mary. Back in the kitchen, they sliced some meat, seared some salmon, scooped some sides, and built these incredible looking plates for us. So they brought us quite literally every kind of meat that they have. We have pulled pork, brisket, burnt ends, turkey, chicken, salmon, and a beer bucket, of course. Quite literally everything. So we're gonna go ahead and give this a try. We got one of these ribs. Oh, that's a testament to the meat. It literally just fell out of my hand. Like, this is just pulling apart here. I'm gonna go for a bite. Mm. This meat was so fall off the bone tender. It just kept coming apart in my hands. Next, I went in for the salmon. It's so flavorful. They brought us out a few different sides, spinach, baked beans, collard greens, mashed potatoes. So my personal favorite though for sure is mac and cheese, so let's go ahead and try it. That's delicious. It's so creamy and uh, tasty. I'm going in for a second bite. To close out this beautiful day in Boulder City, we headed to the extremely popular Hemingway Park to see the local bighorn sheep. There was just one issue. Wow, there's some bighorn sheep here today. Look at that. Just kidding, there's none here, but if you come here, sometimes there might be. We just did not get so lucky, but there's a beautiful sunset we're gonna go watch. I guess you could say we had some bad luck. <laughs> We headed over to this beautiful vantage point overlooking the lake and snapped some pics. Between the colors in the clouds and on the mountains, this view really looked like a painting that the pictures just don't do justice. This was the absolute perfect way to end our day. That concludes our day in Boulder City. If you like this video, go ahead, drop us a like and hit that subscribe button. And for more fun content like this, check out these videos.